Hey everybody, Mr. Linky here, and today I am on Arsis Online. It is an MMORPG that I just found recently on the Play Store. It maybe 250 megabytes max, and it has way more stuff than I don't know some of these games that'll be like one gig plus. So hope everyone's day's been going great, and let's get into this because there's like tons and tons and tons of shit going on in this game those guys are so cute and don't worry about the low polys it's still a very interesting game. And that is my account I created first. But, male, female. You can be a swordsman, and then your advanced jobs, berserker and warrior. Scout, be an archer, or a trickster, which I think is dual weapons for trickster. Clerics, what I am, uh, becomes paladin or priest, and I did paladin. But, you got all sorts of faces. You got like 30 different faces, no? Oh, 33. And then 10 different hairstyles. But, I can I can make a new account and go through everything for you guys if you want as I was looking up some YouTube videos and most of them like the tutorial stuff and they're older and it seems most people do nowadays is just record PvP and like dungeons and whatnot so you would basically start a big tutorial and then you would end up right here which then you would go talk to that girl in there Tina but the whole the whole feel of this game is just beautiful like everything looks so nice and it's interesting for a lot of different aspects but she's mainly the first person you talk to and it's weird a couple missions in she like you can actually piss her off if you say the wrong things to her found that out because I was a ranger before I made this account but I prefer this account now as it seems to do more damage and these are like the pro players I guess Doing some crazy shit that I've never seen in my life. Huh. But it definitely has like a Monster Hunter feel. As you got this board where you can do quest off of. There's just tons of quests and they keep adding. God, these people are just... Antsy. You got a general store. Storage. So it's interesting. Oh yeah, you can uh, craft items. As well, if you're to talk to these guys. Which I don't know what this guy really does. Maybe accessories. There's a few of them around. As well as, there's a blacksmith over here. And you can actually upgrade them. Which is really weird. But, he can basically... Make... Armor and weapons and... Stuff to kind of have more 
bonus damage. Like, I think that stuff at level 25 or something is still better than my level 30 gear. Or 28 gear that I have on right now. And this is my clan, Noobs of the Round Table. It wasn't... It actually was pretty cheap. It only cost 10k Rugia to create a clan. And then you upgrade it from there. I've already done to level 3. Now I need 80k for the next one. But it's easy to get money. As long as you do the quests, sub-quests, etc. And you got houses as well. So... I can just... Go to my guild's house if I want to. Which... That stands for Noobs of the Round Table. But, you know, Noobs is censored in this game. For some weird reason. And you can do stuff from here, like you can go out on quests and stuff like that. It There's just it, too much stuff going on in this game. And that's why I kind of like it. And you can customize everything fully, like in the houses as well. By killing certain monsters, they drop certain items. As well as... Over here, this is the first time you actually get to like go into a dungeons, per se. But... They all have different like levels. I think if you keep beating them, they go harder and harder and harder. Which is pretty actually, actually pretty cool. But I've just been doing this story. I wanted to figure it out a little bit more. As I am a new player, so anyone who's played this game for a while is definitely going to hate me with what I'm about to do right here. As this is your skill list, and I have nothing upgraded. I was just seeing how far I can actually push my uh, account. And there's a lot of stuff. I like my passive stuff mostly, and that's probably how I would upgrade my account first so I have like you know more passive in my attacks but obviously I want my binds and there's just a lot a lot of stuff because there's also as like I've seen people at level 112 so I don't know what really the main like the max max level is but there's a whole nother, so I think I can be like a holy knight or something after this, and then there's like EX skills right beside it, or an EX job class, it's, it's mind-blowing. But I mainly did do everything in this area, and also this does seem like the more hanging out place, as I will, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the the second region that I have unlocked that I just got to, but I never realized this, that like, here's the region I just got to. There's all the things I have to do. And then there's just an area right here. Maybe has a town. There's another region. There's another region. There's... I was thinking there was not that many regions, and I was like, well, this is going to be a long grind. But there's definitely tons and tons of stuff to do in this game oh yeah this is we're up in like the north now in like the snow mount snowy mountains but what did I want to look at Oh yeah, combos. Because another interesting thing, if you got this far in this video already, is the combos. Because you've already been looking at my ability bars probably and wondering, what the hell. So, yeah, that guy's a quest. Those are also quests. There should also be field, uh, field missions that appear. For here, it appears right around here. You can never miss it, it's just a big fire ring with stuff in the middle. 
sound changes and everything. It's pretty funny. Hmm. Oh god, I got a friend already. But yeah, the reticle is how you attack. Like if I if if I was to just sit here, I'm not gonna attack him. I physically have to aim at him. And the abilities are cool. Like I got, you know, like that's just one ability on a bar. That's just one ability. And a lot of games don't do this, but. You can actually combo them. As you've seen when I used that, there was another ability underneath it. Just monsters can evade and shit too. And knock me out and send me flying like I'm about to do to him. And yeah, you just basically mash stuff together and you get some pretty sick combos out of it. And when they're airborne, they actually can't physically do anything. They basically just succumb to your will at this point. And I think those guys are sub-quests. As there's just too much stuff. So you got like the main quests. That's where you start, and then chapter one, two. Subquest, stuff from the board. To do, like, those dungeons. Um. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. There's PvP as well. I actually tried it with a guild member, but I don't know if they were lagging or not. But they were like, stand still, but I was literally following them, trying to attack them, and it wasn't, like, registering. But this is mainly the guy where you would get to the arena. He's in every town. Every town basically has the same... People, except for the blacksmiths you can upgrade are different and have uh, just way different items in them. Especially for different levels. And then when you upgrade him, you can always go back to the previous levels. Like if it was level 30 and you upgraded it to be, I don't know, maybe if he gives you level 40 stuff, you can always go back. So upgrading the blacksmiths is never a bad option if you're going to go that way. But it always seems like... From my experience, I haven't used any skill points. I've just been training my account. And mainly just doing it with main quest and sub quest. I clear every sub quest for every area that I've been in. As well as all the main quests before I proceed. And there's chests hidden around. With uh, these little coins that you can collect. And you can trade off. Oh. Wrong thing, I needed my storage. Yeah, right here. Lucky metals. You give it to this unhappy man. So it's like a crafting item for stuff. Yeah, upgrading items. As well, um, there's a shop for cosmetics. This game, like, I keep hearing people say it's dead, and more YouTube videos you will find on this game are PvP related, but, like, this game has so much to offer, and I'm surprised that it's... Like, not packed 24-7. It's a really good game. But at the same time, as I said, they do have other games. But these coins are also different. So they're not like your ordinary coins.
and there is a purchasing thing to it, of course. I'm in Canada, so it's $1.29 for me. It could be way less for someone else. Just, our currency sucks, apparently, for everywhere else in the world, and something that could be like a, like PUBG, for instance, something that's 99 cents is like $1.50 for me. Or two bucks, it's kind of retarded, but... Anyway, this isn't about currency. This isn't about currency. But yeah, I think I basically covered everything. If you guys want to see a different video on something else, just let me know. Oh yeah, I guess. Do this. Got all these emotes too and... Different stickers. God, I wish I didn't click that at all. That does that does not hype me up. <laughs> that was Mr. Shinobi or Samurai or whatever the hell he is doing over there. Just being a boss, it seems. Oh, Samurai of Honor. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, if you guys want to see anything. Let me know down below, and until next time, peace.